How to beat anxiety about speaking. Speaking in public can be an anxiety-inducing experience. Many people, even those who speak in front of groups frequently, find themselves nervous, sweaty, or shaking when they stand in front of a large group to speak. However, public speaking doesn't have to be an embarrassing or unpleasant experience. With a little practice, experience, and a few tricks, you can become a more confident and successful public speaker. Giving a public speech. Acknowledge whatever fears or anxieties you have about speaking. This will give you a more personalized understanding of what makes you nervous. It may even help to make a list. Discomfort standing on a stage, behind a podium. Concerns about physical awkwardness, physical stance, hand gestures, etc. Unhappiness about a tendency to rush through public speeches. Be knowledgeable about your topic. It doesn't matter if it's an informal conversation or a presentation, if you know what you're talking about you'll feel confident. This will involve hours of research. Approach this speaking engagement as if you are working to master the concept itself, not as if you're merely trying to memorize enough facts and talking points to get you through a brief talk. Practice your speech many times. A speaker who has rehearsed their talk many times to themselves in private will be well prepared to deliver a successful talk in public, whereas a speaker who has poorly rehearsed will probably struggle to deliver their speech successfully. Many speakers find it useful to practice in front of a mirror, this allows you to observe your own body language and eye contact. Speak confidently. Stand with good posture. Encourage yourself, even verbally. Try saying, this speech will be a success whether or not I stumble over a few words. Before you recite your speech, tell yourself, what other people think of me is none of my business, I'm free to make mistakes, don't worry too much about whether the audience approves or disapproves of you. Take your time when you speak. Trying to rush will make you tongue-tied. A slow flow may put your audience to sleep, while too fast of a speaking rate will stress your audience, they may even struggle to understand what you are trying to say. Remember to breathe. When a speaker is nervous, their first inclination will be to tense up and to contract the abdominal muscles, bladder, throat, etc. A limitation of air intakes and a lack of oxygen can change your voice dramatically. Deep breathing increases oxygen in your lungs and brain, which promotes relaxation. Whenever you feel stressed, consider taking a deep breath and reconnecting with your body. Decide whether or not you will be accepting gifts. Gifts can be a source of confusion for guests and it is important to inform people ahead of time if gifts are accepted or not. Many do not accept gifts at their engagement party and the invitations should read no gifts please to clarify this fact. If you do choose to accept gifts then you should expect low to mid-range priced gifts and can register for these. The location of registration should be marked on the invitations in this case. If you have requested no gifts yet guests bring them, wait until after the party to open them so that other guests do not feel uncomfortable. Focus on the positive aspects of your performance. No speech will ever be perfect, and speaking in front of a group is an environment in which mistakes are often made, even by professionals. Once you step off the stage, review the speech in your mind, what went well, what went poorly? If you talk with members of the audience, they likely noticed the positive aspects of your speech, and forgot about the negative parts. You should allow yourself to make mistakes, but also focus on the strengths of your speech, and use those to deliver an even better speaking performance next time.